The Synagogue Church of All Nations Koan held its first Sunday service on November 7, four months after the founder, Prophet Sibi Joshua, was buried. The church's new leader, Evelyn Joshua, offered prayers of thanksgiving and forgiveness, and an old clip of her late husband was played for the congregants. A note posted on the church's Facebook page read, As the prayer continued, the Spirit of God worked wonders in the lives of the people, rescuing them from the kingdom of darkness and bringing them into the kingdom of His glorious light. Many received their healings and deliverance as the Holy Spirit flushed out everything that Satan had planted in their lives. Before praying with the congregants, Evelyn, Joshua's widow, read Psalm 100, 1-5, assuring congregants of God's faithfulness and enduring love. She then asked worshippers to give thanks to God for all that he has done in their lives. It was a joyful time in God's presence as the Skowan choir rendered songs of praise and worship to the Lord Most High for his goodness and mercy. Indeed, the atmosphere was charged with a wonderful energy that lifted the spirits of worshippers. Another message on the church's Facebook page read, The church has been closed since July 11 when a Thanksgiving service was held to signal the end of a week-long funeral of Joshua. Tibi Joshua died on June 5, one week to his 58th birthday. His wife was selected as Kwan's new leader in September. Speaking after succeeding her husband, Mrs. Joshua said the church will reopen for service when the leadership gets approval from God. She said although church members were eager to begin physical services, they must first hear from the Lord and be guided by the revelations from the Holy Spirit to commence. We are getting ready and even yearning to start services, but we cannot go outside the will of God, whose directive is what we shall continue to uphold, live and walk on, she stated. Mm -hmm.